In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Reaper 7. Now all the features I'm going to show in this video have all been covered in separate videos going into more depth. So if you want to learn more, check out those specific videos. But the first feature I want to show you that's been added to Reaper 7 is track lanes. I have a project set up here with a vocal. Let's record some vocals. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. And by default, if we record another pass, watch what happens. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it. Change it. Notice Reaper creates takes. And we can switch takes by selecting them, hitting the T key to go to take two, or back to take one. If you want to comp these takes, we could split them into phrases, type S, and then choose them, hit T to choose different takes. That's how Reaper has always worked. But now, we could do this with lanes or track lanes, as takes are based on items while lanes are based on tracks. Let's undo this. And now we can go up here to the options menu on the new recording that overlaps existing media items. And over here, we could choose lanes. Add lanes. Now, if we record another vocal, hey, you could see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. Instead of creating takes, now Reaper creates lanes, which we could solo lane one or lane two. Let's record another one. And now we have three lanes, which you could choose by hitting the solo button, lane one, two, or three. And we could choose them and just keep that lane. Let's say we like lane two. We could right click up here and disable lanes which is going to hide the non-playing lanes. So now we just have this one lane to play back. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. And if you want to change your choice, we can right click, re-enable the lanes and re-change them over here. Lane one, two or three. But now we could also comp our lanes or swipe comp them. So I can right click up here, Go to comping and choose to comp into new empty lane, which creates a new lane up here. Notice it's named C1 with these numbered one, two, and three. So now notice the cursor changes to a comp tool or a swipe comping tool. So you could swipe this whole area to create a comping area, create another one over here and over here. Now we can comp phrase by phrase by hitting the T key. Go to lane two or three and hear everything in context. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. And we see the result in our comping lane, although it's actually playing from these lanes. Hit the T key to try each phrase. And we're happy with it. Just right click up here, disable lanes, and hide non playing lanes. Now we just see the lanes we chose. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. And if you want to redo it, re-enable the lanes and recomp as you want by double clicking the button to go back into comping mode. As we can see this goldish brown color, hit the T key to recomp phrase by phrase. Now we could also comp while only viewing one lane. So I could right click, show only one lane, and we just see this one lane, but we could still choose different lanes to hear by going up and down on this button, go back to the comping lane and double click. So we see this goldish brown color, letting us know comping is on again. We could hit the T key on each phrase to recomp our vocal. And we're happy with it, just right click to disable lanes 
and hide the non-playing lanes. So we're back to our comp vocal, which will sound completed. And if we hit the T key, it doesn't switch our lanes. So we can't accidentally recomp if we don't want to and lose our choices we chose. But we could also use lanes for layering. Let's undo all this. And we're back to just one vocal. We can go up here to the options menu, new recording that overlaps existing media items. And instead of choosing add lanes, we could add lanes in layers, which will have multiple lanes playing at once. Choose this. Now, if we record again, it's going to layer our lanes. In other words, it's going to play back all of them at the same time. Now you want to combine this by right clicking over here for monitoring and choose to monitor track media when recording. This way we'll hear this part as we record a new one. Hey, you could see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. So in this way, we doubled the vocal. Notice the solo buttons are both on. We could turn them off, control on the PC, command on the Mac, turn them on and off, instead of one at a time, like this. Hit the modifier so you can hear them both play back. And let's record a third one, or triple the vocal. Hey, you could see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. And now we heard all three vocals at the same time. So we layered those parts all on one track. Then we could pan this one to the left, this one to the right, bring down the volume of these two to create a triple vocal. Hey, you couldn't see it coming. You might have thought it, but you couldn't change it. So in this way, we stacked or layered our vocals all on one track. So that's the track lanes, swipe comping, and layering in lanes feature that's been added in Reaper 7. And because of the length of this video, I've broken it up into parts based on each new feature. Check out the effects containers and parallel routing next. So that's pretty much it. That's what's new in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.